So initially, um, I grew my business from a side hustle that I started in middle school. And from then, I just kind of fell in love with vintage clothing and vintage fashion through thrifting and realized that there was a lot of waste in the world and a lot of things that people were throwing away. So I saw it as an opportunity to kind of take it and turn it into somewhat of a business. Um, so from then, I kind of grew it throughout college and high school and made it sort of an event with my friends and such and to what it is today. So I've always loved fashion, specifically vintage fashion, film, photography, and clothing specifically has always been a thing where I feel like I could express myself and change myself without really changing who I was. So that really led to kind of the business idea and blending everything that I love together. So me and my friend came up with it in middle school and initially I hated it, but I've grown to love it over the years. Um, we came up with it by blending a bunch of words we liked together and seeing what stuck as well as trying to encompass what we wanted our community to be, essentially a cult-like following of angels. Um, a lot of my designs I would say are nature-based, um, so and art-based, I feel like they represent a specific period in my life, not only with like trends and trend forecasting and fashion, but also uh, means something really symbolic and to me personally. I would learn that you always have to be confident and stick it through because not everything, it's not gonna be easy and there are a lot of like roadblocks in the way, but as long as you maintain confidence and keep a strong head, you can figure things out. I would say to just go out and do it most of the time you know, if you act on something that you have an idea about, that can turn into something amazing rather than waiting like five to ten years and wishing like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. Like working on it day to day is really something that will help you grow in entrepreneurship. This helped me because it's given me resources that aren't readily available online from entrepreneurs in the field who are working in successful businesses, as well as providing me with a community of fellow entrepreneurial students to let me know that I'm not alone in this journey.